Hi guys, so it is vlogmas day. I don't know what. I am about to go into the dentist because I came to the dentist yesterday for a teeth cleaning and now I am back today to get a root canal. Um, but I do have to go in so I can't talk for long right now. Um, I guess I will see you guys in three hours. I'm in the elevator. Alrighty, so it has been a few hours since you guys saw me last in the dentist chair. Um, my appointment ended up being like four hours long. I've only been home for an hour now and I'm walking Franklin and I am so tired. Like, I think just getting all that dental work done like really took a toll. I just had coffee and I still feel like I can fall asleep. I'm going to keep walking Franklin and then I don't really have any plans. Gonna go back inside and maybe work on a few things. Yeah, super exciting day. I'm sure you guys are having a great time watching this. So I think Franklin and I are just going to head back into my apartment. I've got some stuff to work on. Um, my sister and I have our vintage clothing company launching next week, which we are so excited about. So I've got some stuff to do for that. Um, I'm gonna link it in the description too. So you guys can go follow us on Instagram and check everything out. I might take a nap too. I'm like exhausted. It's crazy how much just going to the dentist exhausts you. Hi guys, so it has been a few days since uh, you just saw that clip of me at the dentist and I am feeling so much better now. My teeth are all good now. And today I'm actually shooting some photos for Great News, which is the vintage company that my sister and I are launching really soon here. Um, we are at Cole, who's Kate's boyfriend's beach house right now. And we haven't started shooting yet, but we're gonna be styling some looks. I thought I would just bring you guys along so you can see what I do on kind of like a normal day. And yeah, let's do it. so it has been a few hours and the shoot went good we think we just were using um, a camera that we had never used before so hopefully the photos turn out good and now we came home and I changed real quick into my clothes that I'm gonna wear to Pilates and I am on my way to Pilates hoping that I make it on time so I've been so bad at vlogmas I fully intended to do Monday through Friday all of December and then last week I went to the dentist and found out I had to get a root canal and so that literally took up two whole days so I'm back I sucked at vlogmas but we still have a week to go um or like a week and a half so i'm gonna try to make it up to you guys good morning guys so it is actually the next day and i am just leaving pilates right now it is 9 a.m i know you saw me driving to pilates last night and i signed up for the 8 a.m class again today i that's a lot of pilates but i'm just trying to get as many workouts in as i can before i go up to northern california tomorrow because when i'm up there i don't really work out that much if at all so I'm just trying to fit it all in before and I really did not want to get out of bed this morning It was so cold and like I was so tired, but I'm happy. I came as usual You never regret a workout. I swear and 
now I'm just going to get on with the rest of my day. I need to pack today for going up to my parents' house for Christmas. I'm gonna shoot some more photos for great news. Then tonight we are going to the Newport Beach Boat Parade, which is so much fun every year. There's a big boat parade. It goes around the harbor in Newport and it's like, I think it's like at least an hour or two long. It's really cool. All the boats get lights on them and they drive around the harbor and it's so fun and cute. Nice little tradition. I had to bring this up. I filled up my coffee this morning because I woke up like 20 minutes before I had to leave the house. So I filled up my coffee and put it in my Bass Pro Shops pink camo to go mug because I mean, why not? It's my favorite to go mug. And then as I'm driving to Pilates, I realize I not only have a camo mug, I am wearing camo. So I feel like that might be my subconscious telling me it's time to go back up to Northern California because this is completely normal up there. It's not here, but I guess it's just my NorCal showing through. I still had a little bit of coffee left. It's cold now and I'm going to drive home. Alrighty, so I am now home from Pilates. It's been a while. I fed Franklin, took him on a walk, and now I'm hungry for breakfast. So I thought I would show you guys how I make my favorite protein shake. I don't make this a whole lot, maybe like once or twice a week when I want something like healthy that's easy to make. And I really do like smoothies a lot. So it's kind of like a smoothie because it's cold and it's chocolatey too, which makes it, of course, taste amazing. So yeah, let's get into it. I am going to show you guys everything that I put in it. So this is the protein powder that I'm using today. It's not the one I use every time. I ran out of like my big thing of protein powder. So I just went to the health food store and bought a little package just to hold me over just because I didn't want to buy another huge thing of it right now just because I used to drink protein shakes like almost every day. So I went through them a lot and I didn't really know which one I wanted to get. I didn't really feel like committing yet. So I just got a packet, but I do really like this one. It is the Vega protein. Um, it is vegan. I'm almost positive it's vegan. I know there's no dairy in it. Let me see. So it is vegan. It is gluten free. There's 20 grams of protein. Oh, there's probiotics in it too, which sometimes I feel like is kind of like, not like a scam, but it's like a little gimmicky. Like can the probiotics really survive in the protein powder and like, is it shelf stable? I don't know, but I do like this protein. So I'm going to go with it for now. It is the mocha flavored. I really like the chocolate one too. I'm definitely like a chocolate or mocha flavored protein shake person i'm not a huge vanilla protein shake i don't really just like vanilla flavor that much in general it's just kind of bland it's just like i don't know not my favorite so yes i'm going to use the mocha protein powder and then this is the milk that i'm going to be using it is the hemp non-dairy um vanilla unsweetened vanilla hemp milk from pacific um i'm not super specific on which brand of hemp milk i like i kind of just buy whichever one i see first when i'm at whole foods but i like using hemp milk in my smoothies and my protein shakes just because i already have a lot of oat milk as it is and i don't want to like overdo it with one milk because i think that i overdid it with almond milk because i drank almond milk every single day for like I don't know five years and i feel like it kind of affects me in a weird way now i totally notice that i break out when i um eat nuts or drink nut milk um i still have it like if i'm going to a cafe and it's the only option they have or like i'm not that super strict about it since it isn't like an allergy um it just like i definitely notice that it makes me break out so that might be what this is from <laughs> but so yeah i like to use hemp milk in my smoothies and protein shakes and definitely an unsweetened one since I'll be using a banana and this protein um, powder is kind of sweet so I don't need any more sweetener and then I'm going to be using chia seeds I use a tablespoon of chia seeds just for some extra protein and fiber um, these little guys are great for that and I just get mine from Trader Joe's the organic chia seed which I love that they have organic ones and then I do about a tablespoon of sunflower seed butter um, this is also from Trader Joe's. The Trader Joe's brand one is my favorite. I don't really like the other ones. I don't know if it's because this one is salted or what, but I love this one and I'm not a huge fan of other brands. And then I use about half a frozen banana. I have a little frozen banana in a Ziploc bag because I had a banana, um, or my bananas were like almost going to be bad soon, so I stuck them in the freezer. So this guy's pre-frozen. I like using pre-frozen ones because it makes a smoothie or protein shake colder. But you could use just a regular not frozen banana and then add some ice too. I might add some ice just because I do like it really cold. And then I will be using a handful of organic spinach from 
organic girl this is just what they had at target but you can use whatever spinach you want and then i think that's it and then all you need is a blender this is my vitamix blender i have had this for oh my god how many years i got it in 2013 and it's almost 2020 so that makes seven years it was actually my graduation present from high school which is hilarious that i got a blender but these things are expensive and they last so long so i love this little guy i did have to get a new um blender top though this thing is only like maybe six months old but the base of the blender i've had for seven years yeah they last forever which is amazing and that is it so now i'm just going to make it so i just realized that i forgot to say why i like using sun butter in my smoothies um obviously it tastes good it also um, is a great serving of healthy fats which are necessary for our bodies and also um, fat keeps you fuller longer so I love using this stuff so yeah that's why I'm using this you can use almond butter or like peanut butter or any kind of nut butter that you want um, I use sun butter because it is a seed not a nut and like I said about the almonds and whatever I'm pretty sure nuts make me break out um, so yeah that's why I use sunflower seed butter Across the room, it's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody singing, oh, everybody singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Now I'm moving closer to you. Alrighty guys, so this is how my protein shake turns out. Honestly, it's kind of not the cutest color in the world. Um, it tastes so good and I'm using my glass straw and so I got a comment on one of my last videos and asked if I was drinking out of a measuring cup and I didn't realize that it's actually kind of funny that I do that but this is the cup that I drink out of. I actually have two of them. It is a measuring cup. It is from Ikea and I've just found that I love drinking out of these cups because they're so big and wide and you can fit a whole smoothie or a protein shake in them whereas like my glass cups, just my regular drinking glasses, like I feel like I can't fit it all in there. So these are perfect and I love that the hand like that there's a handle because when it does get cold you don't have to hold the glass. So I'll link those down below if you guys are interested in those as well and I'll link the glass straws too. I love drinking out of glass straws because obviously they're reusable and I'm not wasting plastic. Um, and two, I like glass because you can see through them. The metal reusable straws are like great and all but I don't like using them because I just kind of have like a weird fear that there's going to be like gross old like dried like smoothie in it. So that's why I use glass because I like to be able to see what I'm drinking out of. But yeah, that is it for this vlog, I guess. I'll just end it here. Like I said earlier, I am driving up to my parents' house tomorrow, which is about a seven hour drive. So I will vlog some of that, but I've got to pack and get ready and get some things finished up since it's my last day at home before Christmas. Hope you guys are having a great Christmas season and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Turn on those notifications because I will be uploading a lot more and I will see you guys next time. Bye.